Right now, you are watching Goniotomy performed with the Kahook Dual Blade, or KDB, made by New World Medical. This device is an ophthalmic surgical instrument used to perform ab interno trabeculectomy through two parallel blades and a wedge that allows for a complete resection of diseased trabecular meshwork on the inner wall of Schlem's canal. Since 2015, numerous studies have demonstrated a safety and efficacy for reducing IOP and medication burden. Most MIGS indications are for mild to moderate glaucoma, and this is the population in which studies usually focus. However, a previous study on standalone KDB has shown promising efficacy and safety in severe glaucoma patients, but until now, no studies have specifically examined the efficacy of the KDB goniotomy combined with cataract surgery. In this study, we aim to describe six-month outcomes of goniotomy using the Kahook dual blade combined with phacoemulsification in patients with severe stage glaucoma and cataracts. We reviewed the charts of 42 eyes in 36 patients who had this procedure. All eyes had severe stage glaucoma defined by ICD-10. This means they had glaucomatous optic nerve damage and visual field defects that were either in both hemifields or within 5 degrees of fixation. So in this group, preoperative baseline mean IOP was 17.1 and number of medications was 2.4. At 6 months, 64.3% of eyes had achieved our goal IOP of 15 millimeters of mercury or less without requiring additional glaucoma procedures. 45.2% reached this target IOP on fewer medications and 31% on no medications. The most common adverse event was microhythema that occurred in 71.4% of patients but most resolved in one week. No hyphema was seen at one month. No patient required any additional procedures due to hyphema. 7.1% required an additional IOP lowering procedure within six months of surgery and only two required a filtering surgery. We also found significant IOP and medication reduction from baseline. Our results have demonstrated that patients with severe stage open angle glaucoma indeed achieved significant IOP and medication reduction to reach a target IOP of 15 or less at 6 months following phaco KDB without requiring additional glaucoma procedures. Complications and need for additional procedures were rare. This study suggests that phaco KDB may be an effective and safe alternative to more invasive filtering surgery in many patients with severe stage glaucoma.